Hi everyone, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. Tomorrow I have a class in Reading, but I also have a Daughters of the King meeting tomorrow night at our church, and we're having a birthday bash where we celebrate everybody's birthday all at once. And I am in charge of making the favors for the birthday bash. And I wanted to show you what I created. And that's super cute, super simple to make too. So I wanted to show you what I did. First, I take um, I took one of the craft pillow boxes. Super quick and easy to put together. I had some York Patty, a Reese's peanut butter cup, some Smarties. Put those down on the side because they fit better. And some Hershey's chocolate fixes, my favorites, the almond filled ones. And then I just close it up. Then I took about uh, 24, 25 inches of my um, lemon lime twist ombre ribbon. And I just tied it. in a knot. These would be really cute um, wedding favors, Halloween treats, Christmas is coming, little gift bag, gifty things at your table. Oh wait, I didn't want to tie the bow. I just wanted to tie it in a knot. Okay, next I have a little blow horn. It's not, except it's not a horn. And I did take a little miniature dimensional and just put it on the box and then set the blow horn on top. And then I tied my bow. I have about 24 of these that I need to make. So I needed something that would come together really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and trim my tails. And then now for that cute tag, I'm gonna show you how I created that. Super simple. I used the Big Wishes stamp set and my layering circles framelits. So I used the largest, whoops, the largest circle and the second to the largest circle of these framelits. And these are pre-cut for time. So here's the second to largest and here's the largest. I used Melon Mambo ink. This one is a uh, Blushing Bright, I think. I can't remember. But it wasn't bright enough, so I decided to use Melon Mambo. But you could use another color to make it a masculine treat. This is just for a group of ladies. So, And then I just stamped right on that circle. Super easy, super cute, super quick. And then I mounted it, matted it, onto the crumb cake. Largest circle from my layering circles framelit. Now, here's my little treat box. Oops, I smudged some ink, sorry. So I am gonna poke a little hole right through there with my piercing tool. Maybe you won't know my, notice my ink smudge so bad. And I don't know about you, but I shop, shop at Kohl's and I really love their safety pins. So I save them. <laughs> I have to find a source where I can buy them. And then I just put the safety pin right through the little hole that I just made with my piercing tool. And I simply slip it to, through the ribbon and close it. Super cute, super easy. Look, I already have two made. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. So, I just thought these are really fun treats, really festive. We're gonna wear little party hats with our goodie bags and play games and have a gift exchange. It's gonna be a fun evening. 
So I hope that you'll give this a try. These boxes are so cute. You get 10 of them for $5. So really good deal, only 50 cents a piece. And you can fill them with your favorite candies or if you know the favorite candy of the person you're giving them to, fill them with their favorite candy even better. And remember we used the Big Wishes stamp set. There's four different sentiments on there. But the candle wish big just worked perfectly. We used our layering, layering circles framelits and melon mambo ink. And last, the lemon lime twist ombre ribbon. That's what I have for you today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm a little jazzed and adrenaline high because we registered for on stage today and it was like I'm not a silver elite yet so I don't get to register or above silver elite or above so I don't get to register first I'm a silver so I register in the second group and I was so worried it was going to be sold out that I'm just waiting 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 until it was time for silvers and below to register and I just was so amped up and I haven't settled down yet <laughs> so I'm talking really fast and I'm moving really fast and I apologize for that but I hope you enjoyed today's project and thanks so much for stopping by have a great day, and I'll see you next week for Tuesday's Tip.